Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna share with you the top three strategies that made me a millionaire in my 20s. Now I know I don't have a Lambo in the background or a jet, even though I'm really close to the airport here at LAX in Los Angeles, I don't have a jet in the background. So if you need social proof, I'm just gonna tell you that I became a millionaire by the age of 24. So I know a few things about becoming a millionaire and how to get started. Firstly, I'm gonna say, I'm not selling any fake guru stuff. I have no sponsors on this particular video, no mentorships, no secret masterminds, none of that fake guru stuff. I'm not trying to sell you a program or any of that. I'm just here to give you rock solid advice. So the number three on this list is actually finding your strengths. If you know your strengths, if you embrace your strengths, you can quickly amass a fortune. Now, let's say it's sports. Obviously, you're gonna go into that. Let's say you have a great ability when it comes to attention to detail. There are jobs for that. There are career paths for that. Knowing what your strengths are are really vital and important. And a lot of times, you know, when we're going through school, we're led to believe if you're weak in a particular subject, then put all your resources and energy and drive into becoming better. I say find your strengths. You've been God-given. You've been blessed. If you might ask, what's the perfect personality for a millionaire? The answer is there is no perfect personality for a millionaire. They come in all shapes and sizes and all colors and all creeds and religions. If you look and think about it, whatever their strengths were, whether it was negotiation, whether it was their caring nature, whether it was the ability to write, whatever it is, find out what your strengths are. And as early as possible, if you find that strength, then start to focus on how to become even better at your natural talent. So you know your strengths. Now you ask, how is it if I just focus on my strengths, what about my weaknesses? Well, you get good enough to hire people that will go ahead and make your weaknesses a strength. They already have the strength in your weakness. Now you could say, I don't have any money. Great, find friends, find relatives, find people you know, find people that will go ahead and assist you. They could do it for free. They could volunteer for free. They can, you can barter something. You have a strength, you, you're a great writer, but graphics wise, you're not so good. So tell a graphic person, hey, maybe I can write some articles for you. Maybe I could write a blog for you. you you're a great cook, but you're not a great mechanic. Guess what, barter that around. That's a strength you have, right? So let your strengths come into play, hire for your weaknesses, or go ahead and get people that will help you for absolutely free. Number two, in becoming wealthy, you don't have to play if I win, someone's gotta lose. In becoming wealthy, you can always play the win-win situation. And a lot of people think that for me to become a millionaire, I've gotta push somebody out of business, or I've gotta go ahead and beat the competition. But a lot of times people don't understand when in becoming wealthy, you don't become wealthy alone. Seek the advice of people who know how to get you there. I'm not talking about the people that you see on YouTube. I'm not talking about the seminars you might go to. I'm talking about real deal people that you know that have life evidence, you know they're doing better than you. Seek them out. It doesn't have to be a win-lose situation. It could always be a win-win situation. If you really want to become wealthy, then help other people as well, and your wealth will start to amass. And the number one way to become wealthy is to build your network. Now, we've all heard that saying, right? Want to build your net worth, build your network. But it's so true. And speaking of building a network, I'd like for you to take your mouse and apply a liberal pressure to that subscribe button. I need more subscribers. If you value this information, if it helps you out in becoming a better business person or better with your finances, go ahead and please give this a subscribe push. So when you're thinking about building your network, I want you to think of this saying, if you wanna build affluence, you have to build influence. And what I mean by that is have a circle of friends that are entrepreneurs, that are experts, and that are doing better than you. They don't have to be, you know, the person that fills in the stadium when they give advice. They can just be someone that's better than you in a little bit. If you're having trouble with a particular subject, seek out someone who's doing a little bit better than you. You don't know how to start a business, go and talk to other businesses that have made it. It's always about the people and never about the products. 
never about the business. If you start to build a network of people that you can rely on, ultimately the riches are yours. If you want more advice like this, go ahead and click this and go to the next video.